next on Dr. Nancy Knows, Doria Toran. She is the CEO and founder of a multicultural salon, a beauty pageant contestant, and a beauty school educator. You do not want to miss. Stay tuned. Dr. Nancy, and this is Dr. Nancy Knows, your medical celebrity doctor that brings awareness, inspiration, and hope to many communities across our country, uniting our nation. I do that not only through my 25 years of medical service, but through bringing on individuals that are experts in their field of industry and letting us know how they're impacting their circle of influence and giving back. Today's guest is Doria Tobron. She is a female powerhouse, let me tell you, an example that you would want your young girls to follow. Dorian Tabron is a CEO founder of a multicultural salon. She is also a beauty pageant contestant for Mrs. Maricopa County. She's gonna tell us a little bit more about that as well. And she's an educator. She is a beauty school director educator, and she's going to tell us her story as to how she ended up in Arizona. Doria, it's so great to have you on the show. Oh gosh, it's a pleasure to be here, Doc. Thank you, Dr. Nancy. Thank you so much for having me. So, you know, we are friends just recently. Yes. And, you know, here on Dr. Nancy Knows How Much, I talk about the energy, the law of attraction, that which you seek seeks you back, and yes. Yes. our spirits, like, connected. And they've been connected well a long time ago before our bodies met and when we did meet this past few weeks ago it has been um no no doubt an inspiration thank you you're welcome it's inspiration same here i'm telling you uh when i saw you you walked past me you had such a light and um your your posture was so prostrate if you will that it attracted me i had to seek you out i had to seek and say who is that lady i need to know her and so I'm so grateful for what is to come in this relationship and friendship. Oh, thank yes. you so much. Well, listen, little did I know, oh my God, <laughs> you are doing so much in your community. Thank you. You're a CEO and founder of, you know, Doria Michelle Multicultural Salon. Yes. Tell us more about that. Sure. So uh, Doria Michelle Salon was founded in Southland, Michigan back in 2010. Um, I've been a licensed cosmetologist for 30 plus years. Uh, when I tell my students that they can't believe it, they don't believe it, but it's the truth. Uh, the beauty industry has been my passion. Uh, it's been good to me. Uh, I worked with a family owned business for about 23 years, a chain of salons back in Detroit, Michigan. Um, there I was the educational style director. Uh, then I became a general manager and a silent partner. I uh, did that for, like I said, 23 plus years, and then I launched Doria Michelle Salon and Spa, and uh, and I just hit the ground running. Um, I've been able to give back, and I've been able to inspire my clients. Uh, some of these women were first ladies. Some of these women were, uh, they worked for the banks, or they just needed, they worked all walks of life, and they wanted a career change. And so uh, I've inspired them to go to beauty school. I've given them jobs. We've been able to empower them to purchase homes, build their credit, buy vehicles. Uh, I've taught them how to pay their taxes, things of that nature. Uh, it's just been a blessing. It's been a blessing. And then shortly after that, uh, I came to Arizona to visit my parents. My parents moved here 30 years ago. Uh, well, I take that back about 40 years ago because I've been here 12 now. So about 40 years ago, my parents moved here and I came here to visit them. And, um, I was introduced an opportunity to become an educator and uh, the Arizona Board of Cosmetology allowed me to challenge the board, yay, <laughs> that was a big accomplishment and I challenged the board, I became a licensed cosmetology instructor and I was offered a position to work at one of the largest beauty schools on the East Coast and um, that was another level, another layer of empowering myself to go into these beauty colleges and empower these young individuals to become the best version of themselves. Well, that is some story, let me just tell you. And you know what? If you want something, you have to go after it. And you know, sometimes you have to step outside your comfort zone to see what gifts 
you have and to see what you're made of. But you know, the rate limiting step is you. So if you think you can, you will. And if you think you can't, you won't. So and then having, you know, someone like you, mm -hmm. a part of an individual's life that pours into them uh, and then mentors them and guides them and empowers them and advocates for them is, is key to a, a person just being the best that they can be in their profession and helping them decide what it is that they want to do and go out and reproduce what you do. And that is sprinkling lots of joy in individuals' lives. That is absolutely true. Uh, to be able to propagate yourself into someone else is the most rewarding feeling. Uh, someone has, many people will ask me, how can you stand behind a chair, Dr. Nancy, and work all those hours and, and, and you do client after client after client. I said, well, first of all, I was sharpening my ax. I was very young, and I was around a lot of individuals that were seasoned, they were older than I was, and so I had to prove myself. And I developed a work, I developed a work ethic that was second to none, and then I began to attract like-minded individuals who needed direction, who wanted to be guided, who wanted to be motivated and uplifted and encouraged. And through my work ethic, I developed that ability to be able to do that. That's amazing. So. Well, definitely amazing. Tell the viewers, listeners, mm -hmm. how to uh, seek your services out. Absolutely. So the first thing that you all can do is go to my website. That's Toria Michelle Hair Care. And Michelle is spelled M-E-C-H-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Not the traditional way. There's a story behind that. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Okay. So Doria Michelle uh, Hair Care .com. You can go and... You can book um, appointments. You also can look at our hair care line. And um, I'm also on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and uh, LinkedIn. That's awesome. I know one of your latest products is a hair care product line, Dory Michelle. Yes. And uh, can individuals buy their products and have them shipped to them as well? Absolutely. In all 50 states, you can um, just go on the website. And uh, there's a little history behind every product. There's a story to be told, and you can order right online. That's amazing. All hair and skin types or hair types? Yep. Yeah. Thank you for bringing that up. Absolutely. So just, uh, you know, I grew up, and I was fortunate to work around chemists and, and other seasoned uh, cosmetologists. So I was always trained and taught that hair is hair. So my hair care products are not just for a specific a culture, if you will, uh, the hair, the shampoos, the conditioners, the growth serums and oils, all those things can be used on all hair types and all hair textures with the proper education. Awesome. Now listen, it doesn't stop there. <laughs> Beauty pageant contestant yeah. here in Arizona. Tell us more about that. Sure. Um, I'm, I'm no stranger to the, the beauty world, if you will. Um, many years ago, uh, you start off as a little girl and uh, my mom had me in ballet, tap, gymnastics. And then one day we were in a department store, um, Saks Fifth Avenue, uh, to be specific, and a lady walked up to us and said, you need to be a model. And I said, well, my mommy's over there. And so my mom, she wouldn't talk to her, and I did my first debut for uh, Saks Fifth Avenue and became a model. Wow. And then from there, we started doing pageantry um, all through my uh, middle school, high school, and uh, after, shortly after graduating, I competed in the Miss Black America pageant um, back in 1991-92, placed in the top 10. And then I just thought I retired. And then it was brought to my attention that Arizona had a pageant system for married women, which is Mrs. Arizona um, American Beauty pageant. And so the pageant system was developed uh, for married women. And then we also have another pageant system for the, miss, the Mrs. And uh, so that, that was a great journey. I uh, competed about them. Uh, the pageant was going to take place last year, and um, I was, I was going to compete as Mrs. Maricopa County. That was a, a great experience for me, Dr. Nancy, just getting out into the community. And my, my platform was Fearless and Focus. And what we do is empower women to become the best version of themselves. Nice. So it started from behind the chair, and then from there it evolved. Um, and then I partnered with other other nonprofit organizations um, as I continue on for the pageant. That's amazing. You know, you don't stare far from what it is that you continue to do, mm -hmm. uh, and that's impact women, 
people's, individuals' lives, right? We are here for a purpose, and if we're not doing good, then we should sit down, <laughs> right? And that's what you continue to do. Yes, you yes. also help with um, Radiant Women's group as well as a nonprofit. Tell us a little bit about that. Sure. Radiant, uh, Radiant Life is... Um, a women's organization put together by my pastor, my first lady, uh, Miss, Mrs. Pa uh, pa uh, excuse me, Pastor Bridget Kern, um, who is the overseer of Radiant um, Women. And, and basically what we do is put together different groups, different um, segments to, to empower women, to encourage women to move forward in a positive way, tapping into their natural God-given right to become uh, very successful. Whether, whether it's a housewife, whether it's a businesswoman, whatever it is that you're seeking, Radiant Women wants to be the source. I just think that, you know, people need to know that there is support out there for them. And Absolutely. they just need to know how to find it and seek it out. You have to really align yourself with like-minded individuals to stay encouraged. We all need help. It's one big family. We are all here meant to inspire, love on one another, and, and provide hope. It's so easy to do. Can you leave us with some advice to all of our young girls that are listening to you? And, you know, you have such um, a world of uh, wisdom. Thank you. From a business aspect, an educator aspect, you know, as a young child. I know when I was a little girl, I wanted to participate in the beauty pageant. You made that dream come true. You continue to live it out right now. Right now. So <laughs> what advice do you have? I, w I would say to every young lady that is watching us right now, follow your heart. Follow your dream. You know, if I'm a firm believer that no good thing it will be held from you as you walk uprightly, as you, as you begin to tap into your innermost um, child, the inner child, that small, still voice that says, I want to be a doctor that says, I want to be a lawyer, I want to be an entrepreneur. You can be and do anything that you want to do. Don't let anyone stop you. Don't let anyone discourage you. And I, I would really say, don't, don't look for validation because you have so many naysayers. You have so many people who don't even believe in themselves. And typically, I hate to say it, it's the people that's closest to us mm -hmm. and the people that are around you that we look for the validation we look for you can do it no tell yourself every day you can do it get in that mirror every single day and tell yourself I can and I will accomplish my goals and dreams you be your biggest cheerleader for yourself and that's what I will leave with you today that's amazing I couldn't have said it any better you can do it and you are enough believe in yourself oh. So, guys, goodness gracious, thank you so much. Remember, you know, Doria, you are welcome to come back anytime you like, and I look forward to our uh, fostering collaboration and partnership. Absolutely. I look forward to, I look forward to uh, this collaboration. I want to say thank you for having me on the show, and um, I, I'm just excited and look forward to moving forward in a very positive way, impacting and empowering women to become the best version of themselves. You know, it's not only what Dr. Nancy knows, but it's who she knows. We'll talk next time. Be sure to tune in and like and subscribe to DrNancyKnows.com, Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, Firestick TV, and Roku TV. Be the change that you wish to see.